Hi friends, in this video we will be looking at El, the grey-bearded patriarch of the Syro-Palestinian or Canaanite pantheon. Interestingly, the word El simply means God, but was used as a proper name of the father of the Canaanite gods. He was the equivalent of the Hurrian god Kumarbi and the Greek god Cronus. While in the Hebrew Bible, El is commonly used as a synonym for Yahweh. Although references to El are found in texts throughout the ancient Near East, this West Semitic deity only plays an active mythological and cultic role in the Late Bronze Age texts from the Syrian city of Ugarit. At Ugarit, El is portrayed as a wise patriarch and the eldest of the gods, the grey-haired father of years. His most common Ugaritic epithet is Bull, a symbol of his power and strength. He is the father of the gods and the creator of creatures, while his consort Ashera is the mother of the gods. He was also credited with creating the earth in later Phoenician and Punic inscriptions. Iconographic sources from Ugarit appear to present the benevolent El, the kindly one, as a bearded figure sitting on a throne, with his right hand raised in a benedictory gesture. As the father of humanity, El is invoked to cure diseases and grant the blessing of children in Ugaritic epics. However, he remained at a distance, and often other gods, notably the goddess Ashera and Anat, were enlisted as mediators to gain his aid. El is the head of the pantheon, while the storm god Baal exercises power over the earth on behalf of the gods. As ruler and judge, El presides over the divine council, which meets at his own mountain home at the source of the two rivers, where the waters of the heavens and earth meet. It is El who appoints and legitimizes the god who will serve as king, and so Baal rules only with the consent of the divine patriarch. El receives homage and obeisance from the gods, and apart from Anat's threats to her father, no deity openly challenges his authority without fear of losing his or her own position. Even Mot, the god of death and beloved of El, is subdued when the sun goddess Shapash threatens that he will lose El's favour when he insists on challenging Baal in the Baal cycle myth. And so El's decree carries ultimate authority among the gods. The Hebrew Bible frequently uses the word El as a reference to Israel's God, both by itself and in combination with other epithets, such as El Ulam, God Everlasting, El Elyon, God Most High, and El Shaddai, God Almighty. Yahweh and El share many common features. Ugaritic El is benevolent El, the kindly one, while Yahweh is a compassionate and gracious God. A Phoenician inscription from Karatepi invokes El the creator of the earth, similar to the biblical blessing of El Elyon, creator of the heavens and earth. Historically, El was probably identified with Yahweh in ancient Israel, as suggested by the phrase El the God of Israel in Genesis 33 verse 20, and by the use of El as a common theophoric element in Hebrew names, such as Daniel, God is my judge, Emmanuel, God with us, and Ezekiel, God will strengthen. The supposed writings of the legendary Phoenician writer Sanchani Hawthorn, partially preserved by the early church historian Eusebius of Caesarea, provide an interesting account of the way in which the owl of Canaanite mythology may have influenced later Greek myths. The writings are thought to be a compilation of inscriptions from ancient Phoenician temples, dating from possibly 2000 BCE. Here, El is called both by the names Elus and its Greek equivalent Cronus. However, he is not the creator god or first god, but rather the son of sky and earth. In turn, sky and earth are themselves children of Elyon, the Most High. Here, El is portrayed as the father of Persephone and Athena, and the brother of the gods Betel, Dagon, and an unnamed god similar to the Greek Atlas as well as the goddesses Aphrodite Astarte, Rhea Ashera, and Dione Balat Gebal, who are also his three wives. In this story, sky and earth are estranged, but sky forces himself on earth and devours the children of this union. El attacks his father sky with a sickle and spear, and drives him off. In this way, El and his allies, the Elohim, gain sky's kingdom. However, 
One of Sky's concubines was already pregnant, and her son makes war on El. This god is called the Maris or Zeus, but he is very similar to the Baal who rebelled against El in the Ukaritic texts. As always, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like and share. Bye bye.